time, so we're and we are going to be going to Bush Gardens. We're gonna run some of the roller coasters and showing you guys. Oh, oh. And then we're also going to give you guys some footage at the Maruchi Clubhouse with my friend Juan. Let's go. Let's go. Quasi. Oh, okay. The first ones in the park are going straight to Iron Quasi. on the Iron Guazi, the fastest hybrid coaster in Florida. So this is about 206 foot drop. It is a 91 degrees ang degree angle and it goes 77 miles an hour. And we're gonna get to see that front and film it for you guys so that you guys can see it too. Let's go. <clears throat> All right, so we're second in line for the new Iron Guazi right before it opens. They're doing the test runs right now. So we're gonna get on it in just a minute and see how we look like. and both were completely different experiences. In the back, it was more thrilling. It was a really thrilling feeling. You, got, you felt the air time and everything. In the front, you saw all the drops and everything. It wasn't as thrilling in the front because you didn't get as much air time and stuff, but it was so thrilling to watch and it was just thrilling either way. But it was so awesome. It was so fast, so steep, and the drop is amazing. All the turns and stuff, awesome. Uh, this is my first favorite now. My second favorite now, that was my first favorite before this one opened Iron Claws. It was just a wood coaster was the Sheikra, which we're about to go ride right now. But this one right now is the tallest, the fastest, and the steepest. Right, so we're gonna go on Sheikra, and if, as you can see just about now, the drop is amazing. Spence. Starting to rain. Like it. My other favorite ride 
Mine's the cheetah hunt. Let's go. <laughs> See ya. How'd you like cheetah hunt? It was really good, you know, it's definitely my top three. Don't sleep on it. It's really fast, it's really realistic to an actual cheetah, and it's definitely really nimble and smooth. Nice. It's a flying kangaroo. <laughs> he loves. Where are they? A bird whisperer. and I love Mountain Dew, but I've never tried flaming Hot Mountain Dew, and I've seen it at stores everywhere, grocery stores, Walmart, everything. So we're gonna try it today. You ready? All right, let's go. It's not spicy at all. Is it getting spicy now? A little bit. It's not as hot as I thought it would be and as I uh, would like it to be. It still has a little tiny kick. I guess it's pretty good. It tastes like orange clush, but a little bit spicy. <laughs> orange what? Orange crush. Orange clush. <laughs> Take a note. All right, so we're going to this pack, and I got a shiny card. So shiny. Shiny. We're playing against Sports in Orlando, and you never know what you're going to find with these, so we're just going to go check it out and see what we can find. You like well, actually, yes. How much for this? An old bumblebee. Half a bumblebee? Is it half price? Better be. It's pretty cool. Meta T ball bat. Oh, it's 24, bro. A 24? 4-inch bat. All right, we're here at the Marucci Clubhouse with my friend Juan. And it's always a close game between us. We're both really competitive teams. And man, this guy is just really good. What do we got to say, Mom? So we played them in Space Coast, our first tournament of the season. Uh, we beat them in pool play our first game. And then uh, in bracket play the next day, Silas hit a three shot, uh, three shot home run over the fence and in the last inning. So they came back and beat us. And then the next tournament, it was in Jacksonville in their backyard. Yep. <laughs> and oh, they got back at us though, because oh, Juan hit a walk off right over my head, hit the fence in the air, I just couldn't get to it, and they won that game. So they got right back at us. See what I'm saying? We're both really competitive teams. It's always a close game between us. So are you ready to hit some bats and stuff? Yes, sir. All right, so Juan, and all the stuff you see, what's your favorite bat, and what are you looking forward to swinging today? Um, I'm really happy that you guys brought in the Cat Nine Drop Five. I haven't swung. I've only swung it once, and it was red hot. And the torque. Those drop three. five torque. The most slept on drop five there is. Those three are my probably my top three. Wood bat. What wood bat you got? Got a Victus drop five, thirty point five inch wood bat. So about this 
orange XL1. It's so end loaded. It feels like a drop three. It, I feel like I might not even be able to swing because it's so heavy. <laughs> so right here, we have the green Zen, obviously custom and it is absolutely beautiful. I like the orange and the black. And Got the drop eight CF8 right here. Drop 5, 10, 9, composite. Let's see what it does. It's good. It's very hot and it's light flame. Underrated drop 5 is the Mako Torque. This thing is so hot. Up. What, in your opinion, was the best that day? Honestly, you shouldn't buy the Green Zen. You should get the Canon Composite. It's twice as durable and has as much pop, and it's way cheaper. So, honestly, I think this is just way better. Well, what would you like about the cat that you didn't really like about the other bats? The swing weight was way lighter on this, and I could just get around it uh, with it more. And I felt like the barrel was just giant. Thank you for your time, sir. Alright, thanks for coming out here with me, man. I'd like to see you soon. Play you guys. Thanks for having me. Ooh. Got Fernando Tatis, Rafael Devers, Walker Bueller, Francisco Lindor, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., and I also got Ronald Cunha Jr. Mm. You got my two favorite players. A lot of juniors. A lot of juniors.